Blessings, blessings to you guys. Blessings. God bless you all. Yes. We have something that we want to share with you guys. Let's watch it. We'll talk more. Heavy for several reasons, and probably by the time I get off the program today, some of you may unfriend me. What I'm going to minister today is is purely out of love. My love for you and my love for who God has called you to be. If we're not really, really careful, we will begin to be put in a position where it's almost like we're backpedaling and trying to forward pedal at the same time. Now you can't tell the believers from the unbelievers. Now there is no difference. And I guess I'm just not understanding how pastors can allow people to parade in their churches looking like that. I've never seen in this hour so many women that are Christians and you're, you are in service, in the service of the Lord, ministering the gospel with your cleavage all the way down here where I can see the crack of your breast. Something has gone wrong. Oh, I know the Bible said we come into the body of Christ as babes. I know we... we we use the terminology, people, that we ought to come as we are. But why is it that we're coming as we are, but we're staying as we are? That skirts are so tight and so short until half of your thighs are out and you're ministering. And I can't even, I can't even get to the concept of somebody preaching and leading praise and worship with no stockings on, with thongy, stringy shoes on, and your legs all greased up. What kind of message are you trying to send us? Because to me, that looked like somebody that's got a whole spirit that ain't purged out in God. And any minute you can just go over in a corner to a deacon and just raise your dress up and hit it right there in the corner. Because you don't even have drawers on. You got on thongs and some greasy legs and a bip bop skirt. And you are praising worship leader. Something is, is absolutely positively wrong with that. And then we wonder why there was so much sexual promiscuity in the body of Christ. And I'm not saying that you got to be like an old fogey woman because I love to look beautiful. But there's a time and a place for it all. And Sunday morning service is not a time for you to show us your nipples in your titties. Where is your bra? How are you coming to church on a Sunday morning to worship God and you have no bra on, no underwear on? Okay, so we don't wear girdles no more. But have you ever heard of Spanx that keeps you from jiggling like that? And then you won't sit down. You're the person that just won't sit down because you think you're cute. I get so sick and tired of going up and down my Facebook line. And I'm going to tell you right now, when I see pictures like that, I'm going to delete you as my friend. I'm going to block you. For some reason, the women of God in this hour don't want to put on clothes. And I don't know why. Because we finally got enough money to buy titties. And now everything you wear got to be tight, got to be sexy. Sex appeal is on an all-time high. Not worship, not brokenness, not Lord, here I am. Not God purge me and cleanse me. Where is the scripture that says that women ought to dress in modest apparel with shame face? We're not shame anymore. And there's something wrong when the Holy Ghost in you don't ever say to you, that's too tight. How is it that you don't think it's too tight when it's so tight in the front that you can actually see the... Really, y'all, come on. And it hurts. It hurts because we're the Christians. It hurts. And we're the Christians and we looking like hoes. And we done went body con crazy. Everything is a body con dress. Are y'all serious? You the women of God and you and you taking pictures with your shoulder all out like this and you and, and you the woman of God? You the woman of God and your, your chest is all the way down here on Facebook? I don't care if you ain't in church. Who takes a picture like that? Because you're confusing us. Because one minute you want to give us the word of the Lord. And one minute you want to tell us what God is saying. And one minute you want to prophesy. And the next minute we see you taking an all out sex picture. And a selfie of yourself. 
I don't care if my spiritual daughters did just disown me. You could unfriend me. You could say whatever you want to say because you know what? I didn't sign up for a hoe as a daughter in the first place, so you won't offend me. Get on somewhere with that because if we don't raise a standard in the body of Christ, then where in the world are we going? And I don't care what nobody said. Well, you know what? It, 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 it ain't, it ain't what's, what you wear is what's in your heart. But what's in your heart is testifying. The way you look testifies of what's in your heart. And you think that's how you're going to find a man? Do you think a real man of God won't you? Because if that's what it took to turn him on to you, there's another girl out there that look way better than you. Ooh, she said this for him. She did. She, she did. did. I, I have to. A lot of what Juanita Bonham say, I be in agreement with, you know, like I've said before. This one right here, um, obviously the person edited perfectly. Yeah. You know, and uh, women do need to pay attention to what they have on. If you are a Christian, you need to, old things should pass away. And behold, all things have become new. You are a new creature. Yeah. So you have to step aside uh, from your old ways and know that you are a woman of God. You're supposed to dress a certain way, yeah. you know, not a sex appeal uh. or a sex kitten in the church. A lot of people, they go to church with the, their devilish mindset. Yeah. With the mindset mm -hmm. of, uh, uh, yes, I know I have a man, but somebody else might look at me. In, like just uh, this uh, Jezebel's mindset. Yeah. Because you cannot tell me that you go to church like this without looking at the mirror and think about how you look like. Who are you going to that church to see? Who are you yeah. going that, to that place to worship? Like, who is looking at you? Uh, are you deceiving people? Uh, like, a lot of things to really think about right. before dressing like this, going to church or I going know. to concert or going to any place. Like, even the like the girls, even in the church, got BBLs. Like, man. And and, and even this, this area is fake, too. So, they... She right. I mean, they getting the money and they just... They wearing the tightest. Are you... You were, it's really distracting. Like even that woman, you seen her, she was like basic kind of doing her little shake in her butt yeah. in the, in the church. And you know, men, they trying to, they supposed to be there to serve the Lord. They're going to get distracted with all of that. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of distractions when, uh, women are dressed in a certain type of way. And, uh, women, if you really care about yourself and others, just dress appropriate, you know what to do, uh, to change all that. You can still be a beautiful Young lady, a beautiful older woman, and dress in, in, in a fashion that you don't feel like you look like a grandma, yeah. but you feel like, okay, this is this is a good look for me. I'm not uh, causing distraction, yeah. you know, um, because, you know, I don't understand it, to be honest with you. Even, even if it's an unsaved person, sometimes I'd be yeah. like, wouldn't you Nobody want should wouldn't be you, naked out there. Yeah. Would you do, don't you want a person like a like if you're a female, yeah. don't you want a gentleman to attract yeah. you? Yeah. Not some thug yeah. in hood uh person in the street that loves to see women half naked and then when they get when they when they with you, they just cheating on you more and they beating on and beating on you, treating you like trash because they're treating you like who you look like. Yeah. I mean, I don't personally get it. But if that's your that's your thing you want to do, do you. But it will never change until you you fix your outer appearance. Yeah. In your men mental uh, state, if you want better in your life, you got to look better on the outside. I'm just keeping it real. And uh, on this video, I'm I, I, I'm I'm giving it up to the to Juanita. Yes, she is. My thing is, my thing is, if her message would just stay like this, stay like this, not to be with somebody consigning money, because that's the problem I'm having with her. with her, the scam. You know, she said this so beautiful, right? So beautiful that everybody, like, you go home, you think about yourself. Mm -hmm. Then after preaching this, what next are you bringing to the table that throws a lot of poor people that don't, don't even have it? Right. Another thing is a lot of people from Nigeria, from Africa, watching this woman, they're so dedicated. Then you, you begin to tell them, 
that you know if you don't sow this seed god will not bless you god will not bless you right now a lot yeah. of these people don't have it yeah and then they feel guilty they feel guilty so all this need to be in balance you know we need to balance all this rebuking these people this ladies wearing this is great balance the the yeah. message cuz i you know if if Juanita Bottom will watch this or, you know, any minister of God, when you teach a strong message like this, people are willing to just give you a gift bless you. to bless you. You know, you don't need to force nobody. Like that message was so good. It makes me want to be like, hey, yeah. thank you for the message because yeah. we need more women to teach yeah. like this. Thank you. Here, yeah. this is a token of appreciation. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. the message was so on point, you know, and more more women need to stand up but more um uh, I, I believe um it's a lot of uh celebrity i would say celebrity mm -hmm. gospel preacher women i would say yeah. and Juanita Bynum is one of them right but w one thing about her she says what she says she don't care what people think on on that aspect of truth right yeah. but then when you see the other women of god that are known and big and are celebrities it's like they have they they don't even get on to the women they yeah. don't they don't like go in uh, go in what they need because a lot of women don't know that they're doing wrong yeah you know I, i've seen small tiktokers will make videos about it and say hey i changed my ways everybody learn learn how to dress better do better but it would be great if we could just have more mega women uh, talking about it, but they, Addressing but a lot issue. of them want to be like kind of uh, of the world anyways. Yeah. Like when you see Paula White, Paula White, she has so many surgeries. She's so into her, um, her outer appearance. Um, and Paula White to me back in the day when I was young, I always thought she was such a beautiful woman. She don't, she didn't need nothing done, but it's just, she keep enhancing herself over and over and over. And it's like, it's to this point, like, do, what do you want? <laughs> Do you want the attention of people to be like, hey, your body look good, girl. You look good, girl. Your body look good. But, you know, it's to the point where, like, salvation, we're like, let's remember to teach about salvation yeah. and and uh, uh, remember that you want people to give their life to Christ Jesus, not to be a seducing spirit. Don't yeah. allow Jezebel or, Mar let's forget about Jezebel. Yeah. This this talk about the Marine Kingdom. This yeah. is a part of the Marine Kingdom that yeah. has entered into the church. Yeah, yeah. A, a lot of them. People don't know. A lot of Marine Kingdom girls, boys are in the church. Yeah. Seducing as many as. Seducing us. And this is the easiest way. They they come in there just to use any means to seduce a lot of people. Yeah. Because churches these days, majority of churches these days don't even have the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. You know. That can arrest those people. Yeah, you know those places. Uh, some places are just uh, open place that people just come in, right. shout, scream, know each other, and go home. Right. The spirit of God is not in, in, in most churches this day, because because yeah, nobody is there to be a help. Mm -hmm. That's so true. To the members, it's sad. That's so that's so sad for real. I want to get on another little topic, but it's the same topic. Is like some people are just born that way. They didn't get enhancements. They were just born to have that specific body that, you know, majority of uh, women want nowadays. And it's like, you know, if you're a preacher wife or you, you a minister of God, like that's the hard thing that they probably will be going through is like, you know, like, I want to address my age. I don't want to dress like grandma. And even if I dress like a grandma, my body is still banging. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just really, it's just like women that have those bodies, just be conscious of all of that. Learn, yeah. learn how to, like, it's, 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 it, uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. It's unfortunate that you have to dress a certain way. Cause like one dress can, that, that it could be, uh, it can be uh, two women yeah. and they have two different body shapes with the, with the same dress and the dress with the lady that is just up and down is, is not going to be a big deal. She yeah. can wear it as tight as she wants to. Right. Mm -hmm. But then the lady with the, the body, you know, with the, what I would say the Nicki Minaj shopper body can't wear that same dress, yeah. you know, especially in church. And it's unfortunate that that has to happen, but it's just, it is what it is. Yeah. That, by, that part, they can't really help. I have to say it like that. They yeah, part that yeah. part they really just can't help. 
And um, I think as people, we do need to be like, okay, it is what it is. What are we going to do? Yeah. Tell them they can't come into church? Or yeah, they going to wear, of them uh, have to wear not, a robe or something? Yeah, most of them, can, uh, you know, some people don't want to wear oversizes. And I don't know? blame them. Yeah. I don't. I, okay, well, I remember, I think what's going on with our generation is that, like, we look back on our grandparents, right? Mm-hmm. And we'd be like, man, our, our grandmother is like, why does she got to dress so old? You know, even yeah. uh, when I was in Nigeria, the younger girls are saying they don't want to wear wrappers. Yeah. Because they have to, like, you know, I think the the, not, the African women, they have to all come together as mothers yeah, mother, yeah. and wives, and they have to wear a certain type of clothes. clothes yeah. And a lot of the young girls don't want to wear the wrappers. And yeah. uh, I don't know how to explain it to the Americans that are watching. Yeah, I think they know. They yeah, they, know. you know, they wrap a cloth around their waist and they fold oh, it yeah. in a little bit. A lot of the youth don't want to wear that because it look like grandma, you know? And so some girls are okay with it, but you know, the ones that I talked to, they was like, I don't want to wear that. I look, uh, they look old. It's old fashioned. I don't want to do that. And I think what it is, is like, we, we look back on our grandma. We're like, we don't want to be like that. We want to kind of feel like we still can, uh, uh, we still, uh, we still young, uh, we still young or a yeah. beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's, it's okay to age gracefully. Like man, sometimes I can see, uh, who was I saying? Shaka Khan. I don't know if you know Shaka Khan, but she is, I think she is 70 plus years old. And the way um, I see her on a video, she's dressed appropriate, appropriate for her age. And she has, you know, the shape or whatever. But um, I was saying like, wow, she's dressed so appropriate, look vibrant, you know, but back in, you know, when we were younger, when we see our, our 70 year old grandmothers, We'd be like, man, they have muumu dresses on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they don't care about how they look, you know? So times have changed, but what it is is, y'all, it's okay to, like, if you're in your 80s and your 70s, you still want to be youthful. Just yeah. dress classy. Yeah, classy. You just dress classy. We understand that part, though, because I, I I promise you, when I get my 70s, I'm not going to be dressing like, like my grandma did. <laughs> <laughs> like, even my mother. Yeah. Yeah, my mother's in her 60s, uh, 60s plus. And I love the way my mama dressed. Yeah. She, you like the way she dressed? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just she, yeah. right. She don't try to be like, I'm a teenager. She dressed just right for her, her, her age. Yeah. Um, I would say my mom dressed like she's in her, uh, what? 35. Yeah. She dressed like she's in her thirties and she just, she dressed appropriate. It just, I think women just, we just need to learn how to just do it just right so yeah. that we don't, you know, offend uh, people around us yeah. and uh, offend the body of Christ and offend yeah. God. Yeah, very important. Yes. Well, thank you so much for watching. We we'll love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.